Hey everyone, time to take a look inside this awesome Darzon Max Tomcat and maybe see if we can upgrade it at the same time. I'm that old nerve guy, welcome to that. As awesome as this blaster was on the field, I think there is some slight room for improvement and I'm gonna explain you why more on the table. But first, let me remove this drum this muzzle tip, and we're going to talk more about it. As I was saying, one tiny little issue, and it's because I put my finger in the barrel to hold the seal that I discovered it, is that my inner barrel is slightly moving forward and backward, which should not be good for the seal. Uh, therefore, when opening it, I don't want to touch the prime or the spring because the prime is pretty stiff the performance or right there 170 fps this is a great blaster but can i improve it with a longer barrel because if this thing seals like okay so what a good barrel that's not moving that would be maybe better sealed eh, it might be an improvement and even for accuracy because this thing is accurate but with a new longer barrel, uh, the only one I have at hand, uh, worst case scenario, I'm going to cut it, is the 350 millimeter barrel from my Swift. I might insert it the other way, like I did in the Striker. We should have something of a sniper with a very, very long barrel. I want to try it. Yeah, I already undone most of the screw I'm pretty sure there is oops, maybe not this one I'm pretty sure there is one or two hidden under there somewhere nope not even and that thing opens like a dart zone blaster pretty pretty easily let me install that there okay hmm that metal rod, I hope there is one on the other side, seems not, but this is something to be wanted. Okay, exact same kind of dark gate as the other one, maybe I could, yeah, is it a one piece setup? No, it goes through, so maybe I could put it the right way inside this seal, if it can fit. That could be great. But this thing seems pretty beefy. I mean, we got a nice spring here. The catch system reminding me of a Kronos very, very much. This is an oval plunger tube. I was hoping it was round. No, it's oval. Uh, I guess they gained some volume there. I guess, otherwise we would have had... A small round one, which would not have been ideal for this blaster. I've never opened this blaster, okay, so far. So if I remove those two screws. I should be able to remove the front part of it. And that inner barrel, yeah. Inner barrel, uh, slightly shorter than an AM Pro, uh, Nexus Pro. Sorry, look like the exact same material, rough aluminum barrel, but slightly shorter, and that might explain my play because that's about the play I have in my barrel. So my best guess is this one, the Nexus one, would fit in it, fixing that plate pretty easily. But that's not my goal here. My goal here is to fit that long, long barrel inside of there. Let me just check for length. Oh, <laughs> Okay, and it sits pretty tight inside the inside the chamber. Like it's holding straight, 
by the chamber. Wow. And here. Okay, and here it's holding very, very tight around that ring. Meaning if I can just open up that lip, it's going to hold my barrel straightly. To hold it there, the usual piece of tape that's going to tape it there. And I'm going to have my first test as to know if this long barrel is an upgrade on this blaster. But judging by the size of this plunger tube, yeah, my guess is it's going to be okay. Let me evaluate it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So about this length of a prime. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm pretty close with 35. I think I'm gonna match the plunger tube. So yeah, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a drill like I do normally, using a step drill to insert it in. Okay, I'm pretty much done with it. Uh, basically, it's hold tight. This thing will guide my barrel in the right position, which is pretty awesome. That thing is done. I put tension on it, so I'm sure holding and sticking a little lock and crease to be sure everything Stay together. This one should be done. We'll put back, put that thing inside of there. Everything is fine. muzzle on it okay I'll put back together does it prime? Yeah. Does it seal? Yeah. I mean, I can hear the plunger moving a bit, but there is a good seal on it. Now, this thing was around 175, 180 on uh, bamboo 2.0 dart since that's what I have into my drum mostly that's what I'm gonna test for now because I want to do a quick chrono on this thing see if there is any improvement but first yeah I forgot when rebuilding the blaster I misplaced the indexing spring so the drum is a little free, I'm going to have to reopen it. Nonetheless, it's working. Worker dart. 191. That's not... 133. This, this battery is crazy. Oh, dry. Two hundred and sixteen, two hundred and thirteen, two hundred and fourteen, two thirteen again, two eleven, two o six, two 
203. 200 even. 216 and 216.4 again those are pretty good chronograph I mean that's quite outstanding from just a barrel some tape I really dig that I'm gonna leave it like that this is a good result with regular dart you would need a tougher spring to push them through because of friction but with bamboo 2.0 or I guess bamboo dart, it is quite perfect. In the end, the barrel was beneficial. This thing hit like a truck. I mean, at least with bamboo 2.0, which is uh, what I use these days, at least they are available and I can order them whenever I want. Uh, maybe find a better balance quite maybe a shorter barrel but I want to adapt a barrel like a worker barrel with that ring that seal ring it was too much of a night nice, too much of a nice fit uh, to ignore I will try to fit that thing onto this barrel to have a complete mod but for now it's pretty satisfying I like it I mean I got a pretty good seal on it and I'm happy it performed that's it for this small video. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerve guy. Please leave a like and comment. Subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell to notify for my latest video. This was Dave Fatai. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.